cooking show. Today we're going to make Nemesis Pasta. Okay, for this recipe you're going to need about 12 ounces of sweet potato pasta. This, uh, you can find this in an Asian supermarket. It's a Korean, Korean pasta. And so you're going to put your water on boil over here. And for the rest of the ingredients, you're going to use a couple of vegetables. So you're going to use about an inch of ginger, two garlic cloves, one onion, one carrot, finely shredded, and one small red cabbage finely shredded. You're also going to need about four ounces of spinach. And you could use regular spinach. If you don't have baby spinach, I just I think this is faster. You're going to need one scallion. You're going to need some... I'm using about 10 shiitakes. Uh, I'm using dry and uh, in order to... For this recipe, you're going to put hot water with the shiitakes and it's going to make them soft. But if you could get fresh shiitakes, that would be great. And for the sauce, you're going to need some mirin, which is a Japanese sweet cooking wine. You're going to need soy sauce, any soy sauce will do, and you're going to need some sesame oil. Also for the stir fry, I'm using peanut oil, but you could use any oil you like. And later we're going to add a ton of sugar in this recipe, so that's always a good thing. Now that your oil is hot, we're going to raise the temperature and I'm using a garlic crusher because it just makes it simpler so we're gonna flavor the oil with garlic and ginger okay that's good your garlic has been cooking for about a, a minute that's all it needs now you're gonna add all your vegetables right here so just flop it in there, like that, and you're going to stir fry this for about 5 minutes, just enough for it to get softer. Welcome back. So while those vegetables are cooking, I cut up some green onion, just the green parts, and I also, if you rehydrate your shiitakes, make sure to squeeze them out, I cut them into strips. Here's your spinach. So we're gonna, this takes a lot less to cook. So we're gonna cook it separately on some sesame oil. Put a few tablespoons of sesame oil and cook down your spinach. Just uh, add about half at a time. Once your spinach has wilted, you're gonna add the rest of your vegetables. And you're going to put this on low. So this one you're going to be cooking on high. Things like onions, carrots, and cabbage take a little longer to cook. And you want it to cook at the same time. You're going to put this on medium. And you're going to put this on low. While your vegetables are cooking, we're going to do the pasta, open it up. This cooks for just five minutes, so that's why I pre-cooked the vegetables. And we're going to use all of this. So. Okay, stir it. While your pasta is cooking, we're going to make the sauce. So, you're going to take the soy sauce and you're going to put a quarter cup of soy sauce. 
You could put more if you like soy sauce. I just think um, you don't want to over flavor it. And this is the dressing for the whole dish. Okay, that's perfect. Then you're going to put about a tablespoon of mirin. Perfect. You put about a tablespoon of sesame oil. You could put two if you like sesame oil. And now you're gonna put two tablespoons of sugar. If you really like sugar, you could put more. So there's really not no too much sugar in this recipe. Okay. And we're gonna set this aside and get back to our vegetables and pasta. Your pasta has been cooking for about five minutes. We're gonna drain it. This is my favorite part of the recipe because everything is done. You just have to combine it. Now if you have a huge wok, like one of these family style situations, then you could just cook everything in one. But I'm gonna combine it in a bowl. So take your finished pasta, add it to your bowl. Next, we're gonna add your vegetables. So we're gonna add the spinach, shiitakes, and green onion. And this was just wilted, it wasn't cooked on high. This is perfect. It's already looking delicious. Next, we're gonna take your other vegetables. And this has been cooking for about half an hour. And you just want it to get soft, but you don't want it to burn. So we're going to add it to our dish. Perfect. Okay. And as a final step, we're going to mix our sauce. And this is a mix of soy sauce sesame oil, mirin, and a bunch of sugar. So, mix it. If you want, you could heat this sauce. It'll, it'll uh, definitely combine better, but I think this is good enough for this recipe. So let's, let's combine all of this. Nice. And then we're just going to mix it like a crazy man. Alright, so go ahead. This is one evil looking pasta. Enjoy. But just in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a vampire cape, it's because this episode is inspired by the Lido and X cartoon so make sure to check that out 